Hello everyone, so today in this video, I'm going to be talking about MC functions, which this is a function slash function, and that is the command, and this is the function. So the, like testing, that is the function, and that is a function that I created. And in this video, you guys will learn how to create a function just like that. And I'm going to first talk about what this can help, what this um mc function is useful for and why you guys need to use it now if you guys use command blocks a lot and often and if you guys have a bunch of command blocks with repeating and stuff like that so let's let me just place a bunch of command blocks and as you guys can see when i reach a lot of command blocks and them constantly running commands and constantly staying repeated it's gonna start to lag and as you place more command blocks down, it's starting to build up that lag bit by bit. But here's the solution, which the MC function is going to help you reduce lag a lot. So you guys, by using the MC function, let's say all of these commands have like lines of closing, like lines of commands in them, but like there's nothing in them, but just pretend there's something in them and they're running a bunch of commands, right? So what an MC function can do is take all of those commands and compress it into one single command, just like that. And what you guys would have done is instead of running all those commands, you guys will just be running one single command block and save up a bunch of lag. So I can just run slash function and I can just run that in here. So now let's get to creating the function. So now I hope you guys know what a function is because I just thought you guys what it is. Now, and uh, you guys are just gonna go to the description and click on this link, which should bring you guys to this website that I created and it took me ages to do. Like we're talking like 12 hours here. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm just so obsessed with coding that I just wanted to create this website and also help you guys. And also, um, you guys should drop a like because I've just wasted like 12 hours coding and stuff and getting this website ready. And then, okay, let's just talk about this stuff now. Just go to the website and then click on tools, which is at the top right corner. Click on quick create and quick create and then click on MC function creator. And now um, you guys should get to this page. Just click on like this text box and then type in your add-on name. So which is, it's, it's gonna be like anything. It can be anything. You guys can also like color, color it and stuff. I'm gonna do, um, please like, that's, that's going to be the name of my add-on. So you guys are basically creating an add-on, a behavior pack first, and then the functions. So the description, it can just be anything. I'm just going to just do anything. Yeah, I just, I just typed some random stuff in there. And then right here, just the function name. So yeah, it can have anything. It can have special characters. It can have anything, even these stuff, even spaces. So I'm just going to do, um, fun I'm just going to name this anything you guys want. So I'm gonna do um no I'm just gonna do um what should I do nuke no um bomb no I'm just gonna do um TNT okay so now that's TNT it's just it's just that's the function name and what this function is gonna do is just summon a bunch of TNT so I'm just it's gonna do slash summon summon tnt at that coordinates but two blocks up as you guys can see this is a, this is the command now but make sure to start without the slash so normally you guys would put you guys would type slash but do not start with a slash because if you guys do the function is not going to work so when creating functions you're not allowed to use slash so just don't start with the slash it's going to work just fine and yeah you guys can basically uh, i'm just gonna copy and paste this a bunch of times so when i run this function just one time it's gonna summon that many tnts 
and um, I'm also going to do title at a title TNT summoned. Um, TNT, I'm just going to just do like these stuff. Make it more spooky and more like more scary and stuff like that. And color this red just like that. Yeah, you guys can basically do anything. You guys can also use these stuff, but make sure you're not start with slash. That's all. And what else? Oh, yeah. And if you guys type the command, some like command wrong in here or with a command with an error, it's not going to work. So if I do give at s apple and then apple and then accidentally put an L at the end, the whole function is not going to work until I fix it just like that. So make sure that you guys do not have a mistake in here or else it's just going to be really annoying to fix it and find it again. So yeah. Now basically every time I just run this function, it's going to run it's going to run all of these lines of commands, which in a command block, it's saving me up like 20 command blocks which would cause a lot of lag. Well, this won't cause that much lag. And if you guys want to add another function, just click on add function again. And then this one is going to be title. I'm just going to name it title. And of course, you guys can put spaces and stuff like that. And you guys can experiment with this. And right here, I'm going to do a title at s title u type you ran the mc you ran the title function it's actually called mc function but we can just call it a function it's still the same thing and i'm going to do play sound um i don't know i forgot was it play sound at s or something i'm just not going to do that man because i do not want it to like mistakenly it's like it's not going to work i'm just afraid that it's not going to work if i put an error in there so yeah say function works and yeah basically you guys can put millions of functions in here um i'm just gonna do one random and as you guys can see this is not a function so this like is not a function so it's not gonna work so it's not gonna show up and this one has special characters but it still is gonna work i hope if I do a slash say, it worked. That's a command that works, so it should work. And now double checking everything, okay. And only this function, only this function should not work. Click on download, and then it'll ask you if you got if you want to download. Click on download, yes. And now just go to the downloads folder, and it should be right there. And as you guys can see, it does not zip. Just click click on it, rename, and then just rename it to dot um mc add-on and if you guys do not see the dot zip just mess with mess around with your settings and just find that an option that says show file file what is it file types or file kind or file something and whatever it is just toggle those stuff on and mess around with your settings and it should, it should finally show you guys this stuff. And then once you guys change the name to .mc function, just click on it. But before that, if you guys do not see it here, just click on the sorting sorting system and then click on sort, make it sorted by date. And then just click it again if it doesn't show again. And then it should just show the first modified one at the top. And then hold it and then click on share and then just click on minecraft and it should just start opening it should just launch it in minecraft and then it should say import started and oh it shouldn't say that though it should yep there you go it should say that one okay now this thing takes ages to load because I have a lot of files because I've been testing stuff for ages it just 
wouldn't work. Every time I tested the website that I was coding, so I had to keep, like, keep, like, creating these add-ons and testing to see if they work, and if the website created them correctly, and if it didn't, then I had to fix them again, yeah. And I don't know which one you guys need to turn on, but I think it's the upcoming creator features and the holiday creator features that you need to toggle on for the MC functions to work. So yeah, make sure you guys have the holiday creator features and the upcoming creator features and beta APIs to work because that's what like most add-ons use. So now, as you guys can see, I can just type that function. So if I do a slash function and do the TNT one, TNT, there you go. As you guys can see, it just summoned that, oh my God. Oh, it didn't explode, okay. Yeah, and basically I can also run this in a command. So I'll do function TNT, but I'm gonna add a delay to this so it doesn't summon a bunch of TNTs. Um, that's gonna be three seconds as you guys can see, but the TNTs are not exploding because I have TNT explodes off and I do not want them on. Yeah, so that's the function right there. And as you guys can see, if that was a command block right there, it, it would have taken up like 10 command blocks and it would cause lag, a lot of lag. But as you guys can see, I'm not lagging at all. And this one is gonna be, um, this other one, which I did, it was the title one. So title, yeah, this one. It works, as you guys can see, so slash function. Now let me test the other one, which was this one. This, 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 boom, that, that, seven, three, and that dollar sign and then that yeah this oh okay so yeah the characters are not allowed so these special characters are not allowed in function names so yeah make sure to not include those characters so what i mean by those is these characters in your function names or else it won't work but yeah as you guys can see it just com so the function MC function just compresses all the commands into one command and it helps you reduce lag and helps you work more efficiently. And yeah, basically that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. And of course, if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any other video suggestions or anything you guys would like to know or want me to create, do, or teach you guys about, tell me in the comments below. I would read every single comment, even if it's after 10 years, five years, or it doesn't matter. I still look at them and I am still looking at my other videos that have comments. When I have time, I, I look at them and some of them I respond to if it's, if it's a question, if it's like, if it's like, yay, you did good. Thanks for the video. I don't really respond. I might drop a like and stuff like that. But yeah, anyways, make sure to like this video. I spent like five hours creating the stuff, website and stuff like that. 12 hours for the other stuff and a bunch, bunch of stuff. For the website, I probably spent like 12 hours in total. Yeah, yeah, I really have nothing else to do other than work, work, work on the website because now I'm on summer break, so I'm, I'm gonna be working on the videos I'll be creating more cool stuff. Yeah, make sure to also join the Discord, which Discord, I have it actually. I have it right here, which you guys can join. I'm just gonna put the link in the description so you guys can join. From the, I'm just gonna put this link in the description too. So yeah, thanks for watching, have a nice day. Bye all, make sure to drop a like too.